Hi, I'm Trevor Bonner, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to assemble Liner Pro. I always like to use battens on the floor because your floor might be rough, uneven, and we don't want to damage liner pro or the liner. So I'll just lay some battens out so I can actually put my sides, my lovely finish, powder coated finish on the battens. We start by taking the left side and laying it across the battens. Protects it from the floor. And the first connection we make with our thumb nuts, no tools are required to assemble Niner Pro. The first connection we make is our head rail. So we take the head rail, I'll put another batten down, protect it from the floor, and I lay it in position. Now we take a bolt and thumb nut and make a connection on the corner. From underneath, push the bolt through. the washer and then the thumb nut. Just nip it tight, don't have to do it overly tight, just nip it up. We're now ready to complete the remaining connections. Whether or not we're fitting a 6626 door or a 6629 door, the brace is the same. The difference is we use a different hole in the left side. So we, in this case, fit in a 26 door, so we'll need the lower hole. So let's get on and put this brace in. Okay, so now the brace is fitted, that leaves just one more job, the feet. There you go, that's how quick and easy it is to assemble Liner Pro. We're now ready to fit perfect door linings every time. 